Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as you know, I'm Kiever M, Kever M, and welcome to this video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Smash Remix version 1.2. Yeah, 1.1.2.0. Um, I just got it from my recommendations. Um, I did not know they, they released it. They actually did this in July, the last day of July. So we are going to see a reaction to it. So let's go get on to the reaction. All right, so here we are. Let's go see this reaction, shall we? Oh, and plus, we are going to be closing that. All right, let's watch it. Let's see, Ganondorf, Falco, Lucas, Dark Samus, Wario, and Young Link, Dr. Mario, and Bowser. Oh yeah, so many epic characters in this Smash Bros. mod. I do love the art where they did this. I think it's pretty neat. Smash Remix. Oh, I love Ocarina of Time, man. All those dark characters with red eyes. Reminds me of Smash Ultimate. Yeah, it reminds me of Smash Ultimate of World of Light. <laughs> nice. Nice. Kick Conquer out of there. And there's Dark Wolf. Yeah, Link's all by himself. Oh? <laughs> what? Yeah, no surprise that Sheik's gonna come over here. <gasps> Sheik leaps from the shadows. Oh, I like the all colors. Remember to see Smash Ultimate. Wow, ledge, ledge camping. All right. Yeah, Sheik is... I like using Sheik in melee. Never use Bra Sheik. And I don't really use Sheik in ultimate, so... Yeah. And it does nasty shield breaks. All right. Also, keep in mind, guys, I did try this a little bit. I just wanted to do a reaction to this, just for funsies. Nice, you recovered. Alright. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is literally Ocarina of Time reference, which is pretty sick. Shout out to those people that did it. Oh! And she disappeared. As usual in the original game. Alright, we have Sheik, Stages, and Features. File 2, Stages. We have a Pokemon. Oh, we have a Link's Awakening stage. We have an Animal Crossing one. And uh, Metroid 1. Oh, the Rainbow World 1 looks sick. I should really like it. They even have a Toad's Turpike one from Mario Kart 64. These, th these creators did it really well done with this mod. Really. Oh, here comes the best part. Features. Let me see what this does. So, number five, you can... Oh, you can use this... The, you can use a Kirby hat. 
Only if you play for this game of your friends. Oh, I love this music, by the way. Item switch. Let's see what items you get. You can turn them off. On. Off. Pretty nice features. Spiny shell, blue shell, lightning, Deku nut, and Franklin badge. Just like in starting Smash Brawl, they have this. The Franklin badge. And the lightning. Yeah, shoot and get reflected back. Here's the blue shell. That did, that did a two-hit shield break. Damn, that was nasty. Stun, and he's dead. That's broken. Also, what I like about this mod is you can customize the shields. Oh, there's a practice mode. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can practice what stage you want, so that way you you can get the hang of it. That's that's cool. I mean, I don't I don't see why they would do that, but I mean, hey, I, I'm a I'm a I'm a really good Smash Bros. player, so if I'm gonna be doing like one player classic mode or all star mode with this mod, then yeah. Nice. I feel like Sonic in this- I feel like Sonic in this mod, um, is way better than Brawl Sonic. <laughs> no, it is, actually, because, uh, Sonic does not use his, um, the- the ball move for up smash. He, he, um, in this one, he uses, um, his- his feet. In Brawl, he uses his, um, spin- his spin move. Yeah, Sonic's OG, man. Let's see. Camera mode. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can play, um... A bonus camera mode. Ooh. Fixed? Yeah, fixed camera. I don't know why they put fixed camera mode here. Maybe they'll put layouts or something, but I'm not too sure about this one. Actually, yeah, actually, that's actually not that bad. Yeah, I maybe mean, I can make really good thumbnails out of this. Yeah, that's actually really good. Maybe, maybe I definitely should make thumbnails out of this. That's actually so sick. Like, seriously, really sick. Oh, smash tags, you can put your name. Yeah, I already messed with this, which is pretty nice. I actually like that. You can make it as long as you want. Smash Father, Halo Factory. Yeah, it's really it's really good. I'll also show you guys how to get this mod as well. Um yeah, I'll definitely show you how. Oh, you can play two player classic mode. That's nice and dandy and all, but I'm only gonna stick to one player. Or actually, um, yeah, the, the you could reverse the enemy. And, and the person, yeah, the person will try to, like, win this player two. If they're really good at it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. And if the first player loses their lives, the player two wins. So, that actually makes kind of sense. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, good job to those people that made those mod. Shoutouts to them. Damn, high percent. Ooh, he's getting juggled. Damn. Here's Master Hand. Oh yeah, the player two can control Master Hand. That's actually pretty cool. Damn, he's got spiked. Ooh. You got spiked again. You can keep getting spiked. But that fal Falcon sucks. Nice. Nice Falcon punch right there.
And I believe that's about it. Yeah. All right, awesome. This is very awesome from them. Shoutouts to those people that did this. Maybe we'll see the new update soon. Right? Yeah, I'm definitely going to do another reaction like this. So I'm definitely subscribed. Yeah, make sure to check them out. Um, I'll have a link to that in the description. Their link will be in the description. Now, um, now that we get, that I'm going to show you how, guys how to do this, um, how to get this uh, mod. Um, I do recommend you having uh, Project 64 um, or RetroArch. And RetroArch is what I use to play this game, uh, play this mod. So I'm going to show you a little tutorial how to do it. So here we go. Now, first things first. Recommend you get your ROM at Vim Lair. Um, that's the ROM I um, get the ROMs in. Plus, it's safer. So make sure you don't um, download a uh, Smash Bros. 64 ROM. That's a dangerous website. So please use Vim Lair. You're gonna need it. The next thing is you go to the description and you press um, this link: Smash 64 Online Remix. You press it, and then you see you says patch the ROM. So you press patch ROM right here. And, um, I already have it, so I'll just show it for the hell of it. Yeah, you choose, you press, choose file, and you see patch file, um, you press that, yeah, the, yeah, 1.20, to patch it up. You, s you go to, um, your ROMs here, and let me try to find it. You go, you have a, you put your ROMs in, an, in any folder, your N64 folder, right here, and you see that, um, you have your ROMs. And you click um, Super Smash Bros. Um, Super Smash Bros. right here, and you apply it, and you save your other file. Now, where I save my file is, I'll show you when I skip this part. We go to Retro Arch right here in your C drive because I saved it to my C drive. You click it, you scroll down to your ROMs, you go to your you know your na name folders, uh, your console folders. I picked N64 for a reason. And you should have a Z64 file. Now, a Z64 file will work on um, their, um, you know, on the RetroArch. So, yeah, you, you click, um, you know, you go to your Project 64 or RetroArch, whatever. And that's how you do it. So, yeah, like I said, um, that's the tutorial. Um, I do recommend getting RetroArch on, you know, PC or Steam. If you have a good computer, make sure you have a good computer for that, guys. Or, um... If you want to play on the cartridge, go ahead, but I just recommend playing this on PC because I feel like eBay has cartridges um, that you can't update, I believe. I, I could be wrong. Someone in the comments will explain. So, yeah, that's it. That's it for this. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone, and this reaction. I hope you enjoy Smash Remix. I'm going to enjoy Smash Remix a lot, and... Yeah, like I said, thanks for this. This is actually um, for the first time doing this, a little tutorial and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of editing to be involved. So involved. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much. Take care. Be safe out there, gamers. And you see you Islanders later. Ciao, friends. Bye.